A 12-year-old girl bounces through life like a limerick. Silly and playful, a nursery rhyme. Her world light with blissful unknowing. Turning 13 is a dirge, a lament for the dead, mourning the life without periods and breasts, though innocence was the first to go. Before, I was blank verse, but 13 taught me I was a witch who could pull languages out of boys they didn't know they could speak as if my similes could swallow them whole and my metaphors could make men out of them. Teenage girls cast their spells as regular as a rhyme scheme just by fluttering our eyelids in anapestic meter. 14, sonnet. One line for every time I got catcalled walking my dog down Beverly. At 14, I waltzed down the street foot by foot, my rhythm steady and iambic, until yet another truck driver commented on my assonance. So I learned to stare back hard into the male gaze, daring it to cross me. Fifteen is the year of the Hazal, an exotic bird full of beauty and pain, love and loss. At 15, you need to fall in love with your own voice because nobody will ask you to speak your theme. Like a Hazal, a 15-year-old girl will force you to look her in the eye and in the final stanza, call her by her name. If turning 16 in 2016 were a concrete poem, it would take the shape of my mother's lipstick on the ground being crushed beneath a heavy boot. Election day, one month after I blew out 16 candles, I realized a white man who faced 16 accusations of sexual harassment oh, yeah! who rants about grabbing women by the pussy could become the president of our country. Yeah! Yeah! At 16, I remembered. I was a witch and my life was a ballad with the refrain, Pussy Grabs Back. You see, like good poems, teenage girls are sharp. Our wit cuts deeply like the scissors we use to cut crop tops out of everything and anything like good poems. Teenage girls for the first time are just learning how to be heard, not just read over. Go now I'm 17. 17 years, 17 syllables, a haiku, 575. Five years of living in this world as both a teenager and a female, ready to walk into this life as a grown-ass woman, not just because I look like one, because I want to. Seven months of marching for the causes I believe in and loving myself because there are so many more important things to resist. Five minutes on this stage. Just enough time to make a little change in the world, or at least within myself. 18 and 19 are poems I haven't yet written, but I hope that they are odes instead of elegies. That my teenage years end more like a semicolon and less like a period, a prelude to a witchy future in which I am a poet enchantress and my truth can't help but boil out of me.